This is what the fuck happens when you vote for skin tone. This is what happens when you vote because you're so desperate. You want a woman in office. The only reason why slow Joe that got his ass as president is because of that glitch Kamala. Everybody was so desperate to put a black woman, which she ain't black, as vice president. And now the whole country fuck up. The whole country. How the hell you bring in all these illegals and don't know where the fuck to put them? Just for vote. And now y'all gonna take all them cheering out of school. Why the fuck y'all sit up there doing this to mostly minority black children? But Trump the racist. No, you motherfuckers are racist. I'm getting sick of this shit for real. I'm dead ass serious. Y'all better fix this shit to parents. All those black people that fund and keep the goddamn school open, they children gotta sit the fuck at home and they gotta figure out what the fuck to do. How the fuck supposed to work? I'm telling you, Joe and y'all got to go. Okay, so it looks like New York City kicked out some kids for 2,000 illegal immigrants to come in and take over their school and making the kids stay home so they could do distant learning. And there are a lot of people that are really upset by this. And so I showed you that clip just a minute ago, that one woman, she was really upset. She was out of control, but she had some really good points. She said, this is what happens when you vote for skin tone. Exactly right. Even Charlemagne, the Lord G God said that. And we're gonna actually hear a clip from him where he basically says, build the wall. He's sounding straight MAGA. He's basically articulating what we've been saying for the past six years. So let's react to this particular video. And at the end of this, there's going to be an article that I'm going to talk to you about. Elon Musk, where he says, New York students being pushed out is just the tip of the iceberg. And just wait what he says they're coming for next. Let's go. 912 right now in a news alert out of New York City. Students are being forced to learn online as nearly 2,000 migrants move into their school. Nate Foy is live in Brooklyn with the latest with what's going on. Nate, what, what can you tell us about this? Uh, well, good morning. I can tell you that a couple state assemblymen and concerned parents just spoke moments ago, and they are very upset that the students at this school, 3,600 students, are learning remotely today because of those nearly 2,000 migrants uh, that moved in last night at the city's uh, direction. Those migrants, because the weather is a bit better today uh, than it was last night, have since been moved back to their tent facility. That happened at 4.30 this morning, but the impact continues for the students today. They're learning remotely. All sports practices have been canceled. And we just heard from concerned parents. Look at the wording they used there. They said tent facility. I love how liberals just love to control the language to make it sound better than what it really is. Saying, or in some cases, worse than what it really is. But some teachers aren't even showing up for the remote learning sessions. So they say uh, that this really is not a situation that they're comfortable with. But take a look at this video as you see those 2,000 migrants arrive here last you mean illegal aliens? Last night, again, it was because of bad weather threatening their nearby tent facility. The school notified parents of the students. The city writing, quote, the health and safety of migrants in our care is always a top priority, which is why we are currently overseeing the relocation of 1,900 guests from the human guests. I think what's interesting is the school was actually James Madison University. And if you know anything about James Madison, he was basically the father of the constitution even though he really wasn't but he was the headliner in terms of its direction i'm sure right now he is rolling over in his grave humanitarian emergency response and relief center at floyd bennett field that relocation is forcing students to again learn at home a proven disaster for learning as we saw during covid florida governor and presidential hopeful ron DeSantis spoke about this last night listen here government is commandeering the school to house illegal aliens he got it right there exactly right illegal aliens he is not wrong about that so the migrants now are back at floyd bennett but i love how the media just wants to just paint him a certain way because with the buzzword illegal aliens even though he's absolutely correct those are kind of words that they're trying to paint 
on Republicans as being insensitive because they don't understand about reality and they don't understand that the actual term is what it is. And if you're always hearing the term, oh, guest or migrants or whatever, then you think what DeSantis said was mean and horrible. But in actuality, that's actually a legal term, or at least it was before they ch changed the terminology there. But it was for a long time called illegal alien. Field, but many are wondering uh, for how long. Of course, we're in the middle of winter here in New York City. We just had a nor'easter uh, over the weekend, and harsh conditions are expected, uh, you know, throughout the winter. So people are concerned that this could happen again, not only at this school, but in other districts across New York. See at James Madison High School which is why uh, these two assemblymen who are not part of this district are here speaking today. And they say that they're drafting legislation to prevent the city from housing migrants in active schools. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says the city is full. Uh, of course, you guys are running into similar problems in Chicago. And the mayor's office says that they're considering all options here. We'll send it back. So here's, here is an interesting thing to actually think about here is the fact that the left is being fractured on two core issues within their particular coalition. One side has the Palestinian and the other side has Israel. And both of those particular factions, the leftist uh, Israeli um, sympathizing side of the party and the leftist Palestinian sympathizing part of the party are in utter clash with each other. But the other one is going to be illegal immigration, illegal aliens, and this is definitely splitting the black vote with the biggest, the big, or let's say the biggest single voting block in the Democrat party apart because they're seeing this impacting their lives. We saw the lady in the intro, how outraged she was. Well, she isn't the only one. Charlemagne, the lower G God, he's got a huge podcast, maybe the biggest podcast right below Joe Rogan, I would imagine. It's huge. A lot of black people listen to this. He said this, about the situation here in New York. Take a listen. Governor Greg Abbott's office telling us in part, his state will continue busing migrants to sanctuary cities until quote, President Biden steps up and does his job to secure the border. Mm -hmm. So what they doing, they, they're sending all the high school kids to another school, let me get that straight? No, remote learning, they gotta do it from the crib. So they gotta do it from home. They gotta do it from home. Yep. Now, see when I hear stories like that, it makes you say, build the wall. When I hear stories like that, it makes you say America first. That's why that rhetoric that somebody like a Trump spews or other Republican spews, that's why it's effective. Because why do these kids have to be Displaced. inconvenienced because of the migrants? Yeah. Middle of the school year, you're just going to tell the kids, stay home? No, find some. They're finding out really quickly about what I said many, many years ago, quite now, about three years ago, where illegal aliens are going to kick black people back to the bus and that is what's happening you can see it coming and when you vote for skin tone or when you vote for emotion you vote for bad narratives based on no kind of historical context in terms of what you're getting out of these particular votes you're going to get screwed over and that is the truth of the matter and unfortunately they're finding out and unfortunately also for these people it's probably too late but there's a push to get the right person back in the office who's going to make some decisions like this. Take a listen to this. We have millions and millions of people here. It is not sustainable. Did you see in New York City where they're getting the regular students out and they're putting migrants in their place? We are going to have the largest deportation effort in the history of our country. We're bringing everybody back to where they came from. We have no choice. Uh, can you do something about the sanctuary cities? Yeah. Well, they're going to be ended because the Democrats are going to end them because you can't sustain it. If you look at New York, you have a mayor of New York who now is really hostile to the administration because New York City. Mayor Adams is very hostile to the administration. Now he's kind of backtracking a little bit. Instead of blaming Biden, he's actually going to sue the bus company. But he's already let us know what his feelings are about the administration because he's basically said on the record, look, this is not a good thing. The government it needs to control the border because they're coming into our city, using up all of our resources. What are we going to do? But of course, since then, he's kowtowing and back backtracking. And now I'm going to sue the buses, the bus companies, because they're really responsible. No, once you blame the policy that's allowing the bus companies to do the things they're doing. My place, I love New York. It's gone. It's had a tough time. So here we have an article from Fox Business. Elon Musk issues warning after New York 
city students are pushed out of school to house migrants, will come for your homes. That's what he's saying. He's saying that they will actually come for your homes. It says here that Elon Musk issued an ominous warning after New York City students were forced into remote learning Wednesday as their school was used to house migrants Tuesday night. Quote, this is what happens when you run out of hotel rooms. Soon, cities will run out of schools to vacate, then they will come for your homes, Musk quoted in saying. He also responded to a video shared by Libs of TikTok account showing migrants being dropped off from a yellow bus to James Madison High School in Brooklyn. Quote, school is closed tomorrow because illegals will be sleeping in the school's gym. This is disgraceful. New York City is prioritizing illegals over Americans. Quote, libs of TikTok wrote. So I'm gonna do one more thing before I end this video. I'm gonna go back to Charlemagne, the Lord G God, and get the last part of that because he mentioned something about where the money comes from and the priorities in the cities and why they don't find money for black folks or things that actually matter to them. Listen to this. There's not any place else we could put them. And, and no disrespect, but they find money for everything else. We can't find money for motels, hotels, to, to, to rent gyms, gymnasiums, uh, the Jacob Javits Center and all these big buildings. They find money for everything else, but you're going to take these kids out of school. And no disrespect, I think any parent knows that when you have to do remote learning, kids don't really focus on yes. remote learning. They and, not focus. And, 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 and yo, what if I, what if I, what if I can't? Stay home with my child. What Correct. if I can't afford a babysitter? What Correct. if I can't? What if I don't have a relative that can stay with my child? Correct. How are you just disrupting me and my life for these migrants? How is that okay? And listen, I'm all yeah. for assisting any human that needs assistance, but not at the sake of disrupting my kids' learning and disrupting my life. And right there, that's America first, and that's one thing that people just don't seem to get. But what's happening now is people are getting it because all the narrative, all the talking points, all the flowery rhetoric doesn't mean anything when they're coming into your homes. And the last thing I'm going to say is this, when the country was about to revolt against Great Britain in the 1770s, one of the key things was, I mentioned this before, was a policy called a man's home is his castle. And it was a situation where the British were coming into homes and living there for whatever purpose they wanted without announcing themselves coming in, either doing search and seizures illegally or coming in there and living there and not abiding by the right of the homeowner. And that James Otis, that principle is what actually helped to start the revolution, even by the words of John Adams. And so when you start seeing this happening, it's going back to the tyranny prior to America being America. Let me know what you think about that. Please like, and subscribe and share with your friends and comment below what your thoughts are on this whole situation. What would you do if the government says, you know what, you're gonna have to move out and make some way for these people to come live in your house because, well, you know, they're our guests and we must take care of them. So what are your thoughts? Comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.